Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another FYI Training Minutes video. Uh, today we are going to go over the medical bag on Squad 2. Um, like I said, this specifically is off of Squad 2. However, all of them should be relatively the same. Uh, and if not, we're working towards that. So, let's just jump right in. I want to start in this very top compartment here. We'll open every zipper just to make sure there's nothing in it. This one has nothing in it. This next pocket down has extra medical gloves. Each pouch is labeled the glove size. This particular one is XL. Moving down to the next compartment. This compartment has our OB emergency kit, a reusable cold pack, a one-time use hot pack, a sterile burn sheet, and that's it. Those are the items included in that pouch. Moving on to the main compartment, this is kind of the meat, potatoes, meat and potatoes of the bag. So once you open the bag, there will be a nice little clip here to open up. And there are things on the sides as well as the lid that we will go over once we adjust the camera angle. First let's start with the main compartment here. Here's where we keep the oxygen. Typically the oxygen is turned on, you just have to adjust the regulator. We also keep both of our BVMs on either side. This is our adult BVM. And this is our pediatric BVM. One note, when restocking the bag after a call, make sure that you have one pediatric and one adult. We've had calls in the past where we show up and there are two pediatric bag valve masks. Underneath the bag valve mask, we have a CO2 detector. Moving left to right, this is where we have our supplemental oxygen tools. We've got two BVMs here. I apologize. We have two non-rebreathers here, nasal cannulas, a couple more nasal cannulas, and non-rebreathers. Again, when restocking the bag, make sure there are a sufficient number of non-rebreathers and nasal cannulas in both pediatric and adult sizes. So now we'll adjust the camera and we'll see what's in the top flap. Okay, so the top flap of the main compartment. On the left here, under Velcro closure, we have a box of oral airways. And on the left-hand side, we have all of our nasal airways. There's also a few packages of lube there. That's it for the top of the compartment. Again, we'll readjust the camera and look at the left side of the bag. Okay, so in the main compartment on the left side flap, there are a few different things. We have some sterile water. As well as two different triangular bandages. Moving over to the right side. Again, this is a our blind airway kit. 
And this is filled with King Airways. So we've got a few different sizes. This is a number four. Another number four. And a yellow number three. So that's it for the main compartment. Now we will close up the main compartment and look at the front of the bag. Okay, so now we're looking at the front of the bag or the top of the bag, depending on how you orient yourself to the bag. In the left pocket here, we have all of our glucometer supplies. We have a nice fancy black pouch here that holds everything in it. We've got our uh, actual reader, the test strips below that, some lancets, band-aids, alcohol prep pads, and gauze in the back. Also in the bag, we have a sharps container. Whenever possible, try to only use this sharps container for lancets. That way we don't fill it up uh, as quickly as we would while sticking a bunch of trash in there and stuff like that. So try to avoid that. Okay, the right pocket. The right pocket has a couple isolation masks as well as two isolation gowns. And in the mesh pocket in the back, we have red biohazard bags. Okay, we're going to change the orientation of the bag again and look at the two side pockets. Okay, so conveniently labeled for your convenience, is the vital signs pocket. Um, this is on the left side of the bag. Also the same side as the glucometer pouch up front. So 99% of our calls we will be accessing this bag. This pocket. Stethoscope. blood pressure cuff. It is an adult cuff and it does have kind of some sizing information on it. When that is too big, we have a child size cuff also. We also have a pen light. a SPO2 monitor, as well as another blood pressure cuff. This one is a large adult cuff. Most of our patients seem to fit okay in a blue, in a blue blood pressure cuff. Okay, we'll get this pocket packed up and we'll take a look at the other side. Okay, the final pocket in our medical bag is the trauma pocket. When we open it up, we have various things. Sam splint, tourniquet, two pairs of trauma shears, medical tape, Some more band-aids and gauze up front. Some more medical tape on the other side. And then some various gauze in the back.
We've got some some acrylics of various sizes. As well as an ABD pad. Some more sterile gauze packets of also various sizes. And some more ABD pads. So this is all the medical gear that we carry on Squad 2 as of right now, excluding the Lucas and suction and the AED and uh, various items of that nature. If you grab this bag, that is what you should expect to be in there. Um, please note that things like this can change over time with new research coming out showing us that we need to stop carrying one thing or start carrying another. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but we'll give you plenty of notice if that were to happen. Okay, so I want to thank you guys for taking the time to check out this video. I encourage you guys to come down and dig through the bags a little bit and make sure you know where everything's at. Uh, if you have any questions, come find me or any other senior firefighter on the department. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon.